People do put too much credence on words. Sometimes. People put too much credence on For not using them correctly. I'm People not the fucking want to be a stickler mean. for words, but don't know what words mean. Yeah. They want to say one set of word and have it apply to all. Listen things. to me, dog. A, a lady asked me yesterday. She said, do y'all have a case for this iPad? Mm. I said, we don't have no accessories for the iPad. Right? Mm. About 45 seconds later, she said, do y'all have like the screen protectors for it? <laughs> And I'm like, people don't know what words mean. They don't, man. Like, like no, but that would be like if, if I'm hanging out with a girl, right? You know, and me and her chilling. And she say, do you want to fuck me? And I say, nah, I like dick. I only fuck niggas. And she say, you want to fuck my whole girl? <laughs> Are you listening to me? I don't care about what I said. <laughs> it's like... People don't listen. They just say whatever they want. People want to do what they want to do for you, but get credit as them doing something that you ask. Say it again. People mm -hmm. want to do things that they want to do for you, oh. but want the credit as if That's it's also something you ask. Yes. I was going to say women, but I yeah. felt like yeah. the last four things yeah. I said was women. I, I we, said, ah, yeah. I don't want to be one of those cats, but so yeah. I said people. Uh, but another reason that I hate that like people are like that, women. Yeah, because if I said we don't have no accessories for the iPad, and then if she said, "Do y'all have like a screen protector for it?" and I said, "Yeah, we got it," she would have not thought that was weird. Mm, she wouldn't have said, "So why you told me you didn't have any?" Exactly. And if she did, I'd be like, "But bitch, you clearly understood why you asked right. me again." So my <laughs> point and my reason for saying Ma that Ma is my point and reason for saying that is that it, 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 it's proof that people don't listen. Because your response should be like, damn, nigga, I thought y'all didn't have shit for it. I'm just asking questions because I'm an asshole, apparently. But you should you should feel offended. And people don't know what words mean. They don't know how to use words. They don't know anything about it. And it drives me fucking insane. They like women. It's like we used to always say on old podcasts. A motherfucker can quote me for some shit eight years ago. And I can listen to it and not remember nothing of it and say, I know I didn't say exactly. that. Because it's not something I would ever say. <laughs> And I never say things words. I would never say. Exactly. This is why when I always say I don't never apologize. And no, I go because I'm because never I sorry. I because I always do or say what I mean or meant to do. Now, it may be a momentarily thing. If we are past that moment. Of course. And I, how can I be sorry for a moment that has passed? If I meant it in that moment, nigga, I meant it in that moment. What is old me saying sorry for what young me did do? I agree. I agree. What does that do? So it's the same as some people, they'll say uh, some kind of uh, inflammatory phrase mm -hmm. 10 years ago, and they want a, a today's apology. It's yeah, like, that's, eh, that'll make that mean that, that point. That you should have been able to see who I am to see if I'm still that person or I'm not. And that's your an apology. For me, if I, if I had a situation like that where somebody bothered me about something that I said 10 years ago, I would not apologize, and I wouldn't give a fuck at all. If I'm not that person, that's what about. There you go. That's and the if key. I am that person, I'm not going to apologize because I'm still that person. I'm still that person. So there's no reason to apologize either way. But people, because I'm not going to prove to you I'm not that person no more. People are fuck. apologizing for what they do. <coughs> They're apologizing for getting caught, of course, or, or of they course. didn't expect you to react the way you of were going to react. So it's, People are fake as fuck, man. Like my, uh, my, my, I was telling Hyde the other day. I said, man, these aliens need to hurry up, yo. Man, Jesus got to come back, We need some man. fucking sorting out, we man. Need niggas Jesus, need to go. Man. If we some of them niggas that need to go. Hey, you <laughs> that's how you. <laughs> yeah. That's how we supposed to start the cast. This nigga say, oh yeah, that is. Hey man, how long we got? Yeah man, how long we gonna live? <laughs> how long man? we gonna live? How long you think you gonna live, man? Keep it fucking. That's an man. amazing question. I'm thirty four. Thirty four. I know, bro. Thirty four. How long you got, man? How long, long, long. how long you got, and how long would you like? <laughs> <laughs> that's oh, a, that's yeah. a great. How okay. long you got, and how long? I you think got? I, I think mm -hmm. that I got till at least a good seventy five, eighty, uh -huh. and I'll be good with anywhere after sixty five. I'm thinking I got thirty more strong years is fine for me. Yeah, you can live that. Okay. I'm thinking between fifty five and sixty. I'm gonna kick the old bucket. Mm. And I'm shooting for 65. Yeah, 60. There we go, man. Yeah, ARP boys in the house? Yeah, man. That was a... Oh, oh. A -A -R I get it. I get it. I get it. <laughs> oh, can I give you an example of me knowing that I didn't say something? Give it to me. All right. So, I was talking to someone one time, and they told me, they said, well, you're always preaching about how you don't give a fuck about anything. Right? Yeah. And I said, 
I never have ever preached that I don't give a fuck about anything, mm -hmm. right? And they continue to say, I always preach how I don't give a fuck about anything, okay? And I said, give me one time <laughs> I've ever said yeah, that's that the killer. I don't that's give usually a fuck the killer. about anything. Prove it. And they couldn't give me a time that I said I don't give a fuck about anything, right? Mm -hmm. And then they said to me, like uh, a fucking bitch would say, they said, so you've never said you don't give a fuck about anything, right? A woman love to answer a question with asking but you a question. My issue with a woman is she don't understand how I think. That's why I never really truly click like 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 that with a woman mm. because they don't understand how I think. Pause. I said this. I tweeted this the other day. I said I wish people knew me before they listened to me. Yes. Yes. Continue. Okay. Okay. And then she said. Well, you never said you don't give a fuck about it, uh, nothing before. I said, <laughs> I know I haven't said it in the last eight years, mm. right? And a woman doesn't have enough sense to comprehend and say, well, why would you say that specific thing, mm. right? But the reason, but the reason that I know that I haven't said that in the last eight years mm -hmm. is because my daughter is eight years old. Exactly. So I know I haven't said that in the last eight years. So if I've known you for two weeks, <laughs> <laughs> I know I'm pretty firm in my claim I know that, that I've never, never said, said that. that. I know that I've never said that. Okay, that's a keen example of words and how using them correctly and thinking that they all mean the same thing is. That's it, yo. Oh, let me give you a better example of that nigga woman. Got today. That nigga oh, got him today, woman. Boy. Okay. Um, so glorious ladies, we scream your name. <laughs> I contact someone, okay, mm. and um, I don't remember the conversation very much, but they contacted me back the next day and told me what they was doing the day before or something, right? Mm. I don't remember the exact context, right? So basically, I was like, "What's good?" And they was like, "I was at home chilling." Uh, eat some cereal and shit. Yeah, with my dog or some shit. I'm at work now. Something like that, right? Mm. So I was like, so that's why you didn't hit me back, right? Mm. And they went off on me. And they were like, nigga, I don't got an answer to you. Oh, <laughs> oh, nigga. Right. What's that, nigga? Right. No dick in the booty, nigga. <laughs> I ain't gonna answer you. So this is when I say what you said. Mm. I wish people knew me before they spoke to me or or or, or thought of knowing me, right? Because my thing is, if I'm having a conversation with you, mm. and I say, oh, so that's why you didn't hit me back? I know you, you created a thing to change text messages years ago that you never invented, and my life has been bad ever since then. Gotcha. We won't get into that. But I feel like if you know me... Sponsor the thing. That you know that I'm literally just keeping the conversation going. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying, that's why you didn't hit me back? And then you say, uh, uh, yeah, that's why I yeah, hit you yeah, back, yeah. and I had so-and-so, 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 so-and-so. All right, cool, that's what's up. What's good? But 99% of people in the world who say, take that as that's an why you ain't hit me back, mm. they take it as an attack. They, they hear because, mm. Yeah, because that's how most people are. <laughs> but see, for me, I'm always going to, I'm going to correct this because I want you to understand. Yes. I'm not asking you because I want you to answer to me. I'm asking you because we're having a conversation. And when yeah, you have like conversations, continue. you ask people questions. This cast or this video, this whatever the fuck, is all for the betterment of people. Preacher. I want you to be better so I don't got to deal with you. Of course. Because it, situations like those turn into a hostile situation all because of communication. Yes. <sighs> Listen. I don't want to write. That's why I stopped. This, I don't want to go. This is why I say what I said, though. I can do it. It's man. because if you know me, you know that I truly don't give a fuck about what you're doing. <laughs> I don't give a fuck about what you were doing last night. That I don't give a, a fuck. This shit is a backdrop like, to life. As soon as we finish this podcast, I got to go pick up my daughter. Mm -hmm. Okay? I don't give a fuck what my daughter is doing right now. <laughs> as long as she's safe. And as long as she and ready when I get there. ain't doing something that she don't want to be doing, I I don't give a fuck. When I pick her up, I'll ask her what she was doing while I was doing this podcast. But it's simply out of conversations. Real quick, just because people don't know you, you have to clarify what you were saying, even the slightest. When you said, "Oh, uh, as long as she's safe," of course, that's why. But that's what I'm saying. Because that's another example. Exactly, that's an example. Anyway, sorry, this is the, the the crutch I have to wear yes. in my life every single day, and that's annoying. It's annoying to a man like me who it's loves annoying. to speak freely. Exactly, loves to learn. No doubt, loves to use what he's learned and apply. 
It's very hard when you got a bunch of stupid fucking people who are on the edge of their seats ready to make another motherfucker yes. another headline to yes. say, hey, see, I'm a good guy. Look, right. that's a jerk. That's a right. bad guy. Yeah, this guy doesn't give a and fuck about his daughter. Fucking, exactly. Look at that. He's on this. You and that jargon. But, the, and I say that because I think that's normal. Why would I give a fuck about what she's doing right now? She's happy and she's safe and I know I'm going to see her in 20 minutes. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> I don't I, I don't give a fuck. But women yeah. want you to be thinking about them at every waking second that you're and, thinking about anything. Yes, of course, of course. But, but that's, also that's people, that way it comes We from. talked about this before. People think not giving a fuck is a bad thing when it's really a good thing. It's a good thing. You want me to rant. Yeah, I guess I do. <laughs> but it's a good thing. Because that means I'm not worried about no bullshit. It's protective. Exactly. You don't put yourself or allow yourself to get put in any fucked up shit. Of course. Because you know what's up with me. You know where I stand. Of course. I don't care. Like, not giving a fuck. All of my nice qualities come from not giving a <laughs> like, fuck. That's why them. I like me. No doubt. All of them. That's all why of my I nice like qualities. Me. Like that nigga A9 called me drunk as fuck one night. And that nigga said, hey, can I come to your house? I said, do I need to do anything? He was like, just <laughs> unlock the door. You got it. And he said, I need to talk to you. I want to hang out. Can you come and get me? I would have been like, hell no. <laughs> but I don't give a fuck if you're here. I'm going to sleep whether you're here or not. It's like, and I was there. I woke up. That nigga was gone. No, was, that nigga came to my room. That nigga came to my room. He started talking to me. He said, man, get your ass up. Come out here and talk to me. I said, nigga, fuck no. I said, I asked you before you came over here, do I have to do anything? Leaving my bed and going to the living room and talking to your ass is something. Up. He said, well, he said, well, fuck you then. Walks out of my room. That nigga's in my room, nigga, at 2 a.m. I'm in the bed. This nigga's in my room, standing up wide awake. <laughs> so that nigga walks out of my uh, out of my room. That nigga come back with a bottle of vodka that he got from me, from my fucking shit, and nigga drinking it straight out of the bottle, right? Mm -hmm. So I sat there and talked to this nigga for like 15 minutes, baby. Mm -hmm. That nigga said, all right, man, I'm out. <laughs> I said, all right, nigga. All right, be easy. That nigga said, I'm taking this bottle of vodka. I said, all right. And that nigga left. I was like, okay. See? If you need to come over here for 15 minutes, I don't have to get over my bed. I don't give a fuck. That's a nice quality in a roundabout way. Here's most people. They lie to him themselves, stay up, partake in whatever he's partaking on, are less of a person the next day, are mad at themselves, no, and all hell. that comes with everything. Mm -hmm. Because they didn't say no. Yeah. They wasn't honest with themselves no, yeah. and the person. They rather no, yeah. use the lie. No, yeah. They'll get up, talk to this nigga for two hours with mm -hmm. his drunk ass. You sober as fuck. And then go the next day and start talking shit about the Go day. the next day, drop a pallet on your foot because you're tired. <laughs> your feet fucked up now. You want to fucking <laughs> you think it's figure it out. This nigga fuck. Nigga, you drunk, kept man. me up last night drinking with your butt. If I went to sleep, I would have had my toe right yes. now. That's why I always say no. Or I give you my parameters before I say no. But an example like that is far fetched. But it's an example. Oh yeah, it's a but, great example. My point is, people don't think that the worst could happen, whereas worse happen to everyone every day. Oh my god! So it's all a protective thing. It's to save you and whatever you care about. I seen someone on Snapchat that was posting this white dude calling this white girl a nigger lover. <laughs> And then she screenshotted a, a, a message that she got from a black dude. And he was basically saying, like, yeah, I just can't stand stuff like that and blah, blah, blah. And, you know, like, uh, he'll get his with Jesus. And I was like, see, this is what's wrong with black people, man. I hope the camera caught that. I was ready. As soon as you said Jesus, I just collapsed. Black people oh, do Lord. nothing and expect for something to change. And the number one thing that they lay their hat on to do nothing is Jesus. <laughs> I'm like, you niggas go Jesus, followed up by Barack Obama. So <laughs> <laughs> niggas going to be okay without changing a goddamn thing. <laughs> they going to be like, they gonna be like, man, I want to lose some weight. <laughs> Yo, can I get a 10-piece Kentucky Fried? Lord, please give me the strength to lose this <laughs> Like, huh? Lord, give me the strength to this be my last, last 10-piece okay? bucket. Even though I know I got these coupons. People love... Oh, man. People don't want to be happy, rent, man. Yo. They don't, yo. They don't, man. They don't the Lord is killing niggas every day, yo. The Lord and sugar is killing <laughs> niggas every day. And yet niggas is still praising the Lord and eating honey buns. It's yo. the fact. That shit it's the is facts. crazy. 
And uh, you know, I do both as well. You know, <laughs> one more I than the other, and I eat me a honey bun. You know, like I said, one more than the other though. <laughs> Shout out, honey buns. No. Uh, <laughs>